Hi, so you would like to learn how to start making games like a professional game developer. Making games seems like a fun idea, but it's not even close to being an easy thing to do, especially if you don't know where to start. But don't worry, because I'm here to help you and guide you through this game dev journey. And for this journey, you better pack some comfortable clothes and grab a coffee, cause it's going to be a big adventure. We're setting off right now. Making games as a solo dev is hard and will require a lot of skill and software, but don't get discouraged just yet. It is still possible and I'm going to show you the free way of making it without spending money. The first thing I need to mention is to think about the scope of your game. It's very important to not make your game too big as it will simply take lots of your time and I highly recommend starting it with small games especially as a solo indie game dev, because otherwise it can end up as an unfinished project. Along the way, I plan to tell you the decision that I have picked for myself, also with the reasons why I did so. I believe that if you want to become a game developer, you already have a game in mind or at least basic fundamentals of it. It's up to you and your imagination to decide what you want to make and as a tip I will say that you already have some experience with games because you probably have played many games so far in your life. So you can base your game of some other games that you like. If you have a game in mind then it's time to pick the right engine. But what even is that? It's the software that lets you create a video game. And there are a lot of them ranging from 2D to 3D and each has its own strengths and sometimes weaknesses. Right now in my opinion there are three most common game engines that you should consider. First is Unity and it is a good pick in terms of 2D and 3D. Next is Unreal Engine which is insanely good with 3D but learning time needed to create something great with this engine will be longer. And as a third option you can go with Godot as I did. Right now Godot is the rising star, rapidly gaining popularity and a very good one with 2D. It's also open sourced and free with no limits so maybe that's the right engine for you as well i recommend you to try every engine from the list above and pick what feels best for you but let's move on every game has assets graphics or whatever you want to call them there are two or even three approaches first is free and simple but will take a lot of time and that is learning how to make assets for your game by using software like Krita, Blender or Asprite. The second way is to buy assets from any asset store like Unity Asset Store or itch.io. Be aware that there are also free asset packages and that could also be a good option. And the third one is to outsource the assets to a third party and let them make it for you in the way you imagined it. But it will also cost you money. So if you want to stay on the green side of your budget then you will have to learn graphic design. It can also be a profitable skill in the future or simply use free asset packages. So we've got a game engine and a way to create assets. So what's the plan for our game? At this point you need to stay realistic and start with a small project or shrink down the scope of your dream game to get experience step by step doing simple mechanics with the support of video tutorials on YouTube. Doing simple mechanics with the support of video tutorials on YouTube will be great at the beginning or even further down the road. So for example a good first step could be to make your character able to move when a player is pressing a key on the keyboard. So let's type our question into the YouTube search bar. How to make movement in Godot or how to make character jump in Unity. That way you will code along more experienced developers until you become one. I personally specialize in Godot and will gladly show you a thing or two in my Godot tutorials. So check them out if that's the engine you would like to learn. Many of the mechanics that you can think of should already be covered by some guy on the YouTube who will gladly show you how you can implement them in your game and after some time you will start noticing that you can code and improve your game without looking at the tutorials. And yeah, even after a few years we all still need to learn and watch tutorials so don't be afraid to look for the answers online. Ok, let's go further. To organize your work you can use something called a game design document 
which will make it easier to follow the right path to implement features in a correct and organized way, up to the point of releasing your game. But more about game design documents in the future videos. Also later you will need to learn about the audio part of your game or simply outsource it. So to summarize this up, think of a realistic simple game that you want to create, download the software that you want to use and start learning with video tutorials. Even if it will be just copying code from the video, you will start to understand it anyway after a few hours. So don't waste your time and start making your first game even today. On my channel you will find lots of tutorials that will help you with your first steps. From making basic character movements to creating assets like tile maps for your game. Thank you for your time and I'm glad that you have reached to this point. Leave a like if it was helpful for you and even subscribe for more future content like this or normal tutorials. Have a great day and bye for now.